Today on this James Bike Eye, we're taking a look at the SRAM Red Axis rear derailleur. This is a beautiful new rear derailleur for the 12 speed SRAM Red Axis lineup. And we're going to go over some of the features of the derailleur, and then of course, we're going to find out exactly what it weighs. So let's go ahead and get started. And while we're at it, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this into the future. So taking a look at this derailleur, one of the neat things to talk about initially is that SRAM is able to do their entire Axis group set all with one derailleur. So this one derailleur can do a one by drive train, it can do a double up front, and the full range of cassettes that they offer for the road Axis group can all be operated through this one derailleur. And how they do that is they've done some really cool things with the pulleys on it, as well as adding a clutch uh, in a similar fashion to the way they did it on mountain bikes. So the first thing to talk about is actually going to be that clutch. So the clutch design on this, uh, unlike the mountain bike where it's a mechanical clutch, this actually is a hydraulic setup. So it's in the knuckle of the derailleur here. And basically, when you pull the cage forward, you're going to get a fair amount of resistance. But if you let go, it'll actually come back real quickly. So it, it takes a fair amount of effort to pull the cage forward, but let go, it's going to snap back. And what that allows for is that this derailleur is actually going to be able to control that chain incredibly well. So it's going to be able to help keep tension on the chain at all times. It's going to keep the cage from sort of slapping forward and allowing tension to come off. Meaning you can run this on a single ring up front or just for a much quieter ride with a double. The other neat thing is, is if you take a look at the pulley setups, you'll see that the upper pulley here is actually going to be kind of a traditional tooth profile. So it's got just your, your single teeth, very simple, uh, very similar to what you'd see on a traditional derailleur. But then the lower pulley, you'll actually notice this is actually gonna be a narrow wide format. And what that means is some of the teeth are going to be wider and then others are narrow and they're an alternating pattern. And what's neat about that is that's gonna help hold the chain, make sure that it's not falling off that lower pulley as the clutch is keeping everything engaged. Now, of course, because this is red, you are going to get a carbon fiber, uh, both inner and outer cage. So these cages are beautiful to look at. Uh, you know, the, the look of this is very nice with a great carbon fiber uh, just look underneath. Now, inside of here, you can see they've tucked away all of the electronics of the derailleur, uh, nice and tidy. And then you'll see this is your button to be able to sync up the derailleurs. Now, the overall look, I think, is pretty nice on this derailleur. It is a gorgeous derailleur, and it's going to have the ability to run all the way up to a 33 tooth max cog in the back and that's going to be similar uh, in format to like a 36 tooth of a previous 11 speed generation and that's because of the modified gear ratios that are part of this 12 speed axis. Now you've got this lever it's going to pop up and that's going to allow you to place the battery onto the derailleur and speaking of which we've got the battery right here it's very small very very lightweight and you can hook it in place click down that clip and this derailleur, I'll tell you what, I think it looks very nice. I mean, personally, I, I think the aesthetics of this are very good. It's, it's an update from the old one, that's for sure. And it's just, you know, a pretty nice looking setup. So now that we've taken a look at this derailleur, let's go ahead and see exactly what it weighs in at. So the derailleur itself is going to come in and weigh 276 grams. And if we place the battery onto it as well, you've got a total weight of 301 grams. So thanks for watching this video on the SRAM Red Axis ETAP rear derailleur. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're at it, drop a thumbs up. Let me know you enjoyed the video.